<laughs> a couple years ago, a, a friend who's you know my age said, "Oh, kids coming out of college, they don't know anything anymore. They're lazy." And I thought, I work at Tesla. I was working at Tesla at the time, and they, and we hired kids out of college, and they couldn't wait to make things. They were like, "It's a hands-on place. It's a great place." And and, and I've told people like, if if you're not at a place where you're doing stuff, it's growing, it's making things. You need to go somewhere else, like. And also, I think you're right, the mindset of if people are feeling this is a productive, creative technology that's really cool, they're going to go build cool stuff. And if they think it's a shitty job and they're just tuning the mm -hmm, algorithm mm -hmm. so they can get more clicks, they're going to make, they're going to make something beastly, you know, beastly mm -hmm. perhaps. And, and the stories, you know, our cultural tradition is super useful, both cautionary and, you know, explanatory about something good like and I, and I think it's up to us to go do something about this and i know people are working really hard to make you know the internet a more open place to make sure information is distributed to make sure ai isn't a winner take all thing like and it, these are real things and people should be talking about them and then they should be worrying but the the, the upside's really high and we faced these kind of technological like this is a big change. Like the AI is bigger than the internet. Like I've said this publicly. Like the internet was pretty big, and you know this is bigger. It's it's true, uh, but the possibilities are amazing. And so, so then with let's some get sense our we could actually and utilize them. Yeah, it's with some sense we could achieve it. Yeah, like it's and the world is interesting. Like I think it'll be a more interesting place.